You want the tagline? The tagline is there's two types of pyromaniacs. Those that go to jail and those that get, 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 get PhDs, and I got lucky. Last week, we met Peter and his technology. Turns out, he's not the only scientist who wants to see the ring burner commercialized. Meet Mike and V. Yes. <laughs> Together, they'll form a team and embark on a months-long journey through a tech accelerator program called LabCorp. It's a business boot camp designed to train scientists to test the commercial value of their inventions by getting out of the lab and talking to real people. Hi, I'm Mike Tucker. Brian. You know, you can give us some feedback on what customers are looking for with gas cooking appliances. The two stage. As a researcher and an engineer, I have my own perspective of what I think people will want. And 90% of the time is probably wrong. And I just find it really fascinating, you know, being able to kind of interview customers and, and figure out what is it that they want. V spends most of her time doing cook stove research, but she's doing LabCorp because she's interested in learning about business. And so I feel like LabCorp will give me the opportunity to get an MBA without going into horrendous debt. <laughs> Mike does battery research down the hall from Peter and V. In a prior life, Mike ran a startup that sold a product in sub-Saharan Africa. Which captures electricity in a battery during cooking. So this isn't Mike's first rodeo, turning technology into a commercial product. For the ring burner, Mike and the team are targeting a specific market. The highest end, the highest income home cooks that the world has to offer. They believe high-end home cooks are compelled to have the latest technology in their kitchens. You know, our hypothesis is that we're going to sell it to people based on certain features such as... Such as even heating across the bottom of the pan and higher efficiency, which means faster boiling times and reduced nitrous oxide emissions. Because of its design, um, it's, I could see it more being something that's licensed out. The team also needs to think about how they'll bring the technology out of the lab. V likes a licensing play. But Peter... I feel like I'm two-thirds a PhD scientist and one-third an entrepreneur. Part of me wants to do something different and see a technology enter the marketplace and be successful. I actually have a technology scouting agreement with LG. You know, with this technology, uh, it's an open question whether the world wants it and whether it can do things that customers need. You know, we've got six weeks, we've got a product uh, or the concept for a product but we don't have to do anything other than the customer development. We've got our team, and we've got our technology. Next stop, Denver, Colorado, where we'll begin to track down those customers.